For daily hacks of the human body, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then tap the bell icon to be notified on our newest videos. The best times of day to eat our favorite foods. Ever given thought to the impact your favorite foods have on your body and physical well-being? There's a good chance of doing your homework on that at some point in your life, but you should know that there's more to your eating habits than meets the eye. What's the point? Well, the time you eat also matters. It's in your best interest to get a better understanding of the right time to eat your favorite foods, especially if you want to reap their fantastic health benefits. It's also important to note that eating certain foods at the wrong time can take a toll on your system. That said, let's explore some of the most important nutrient timing rules. Meat, great for lunch. Meat is an excellent source of iron. It provides the cells and organ systems with life-giving oxygen that reduces fatigue and vulnerability to diseases. Bad for dinner. Eating meat right before hitting the hay can take a toll on your digestive system. Why? Well, it's only because meat takes up to five hours to digest. Dark chocolate. Great for breakfast. Love dark chocolate? If yes, you'll be glad to know that eating a few pieces for breakfast can supply your body with antioxidants, which keeps your heart happy and reduces aging. Bad for snack time. Just try not to eat more than 25 grams of dark chocolate per day. Doing this will cause your body to start turning the excess into fat deposits. Pasta, great for breakfast and lunch. Durham wheat pasta is chock full of fiber, which helps your body get rid of harmful toxins. Moreover, pasta has a pretty low glycemic index, which is great when it comes to cutting down on the risk of type 2 diabetes. Bad for dinner. Since pasta is high in calories, it's in your best interest not to eat it at night. Just stick to low calorie, nutrient dense food. Nuts, great for lunch. Nuts are chock full of omega-3 fatty acids. Just a handful of raw nuts will do your health a solid. Nuts also regulate blood pressure and improve lung function. Bad for dinner. There's a good chance of gaining extra weight when you eat nuts for dinner, and it's primarily because of their high fat and calorie content. Rice, great for lunch. Rice is perfect for lunch, thanks to its high carbohydrate content. It's sure to keep you energized for the rest of the day. Bad for dinner. Now, you can eat for dinner, but you should know that it's likely to lead to weight gain. Potatoes, great for breakfast. The good news, potato starch is excellent when it comes to reducing blood cholesterol level. Moreover, they're chock full of minerals your body needs to function properly. Bad for lunch and dinner. It's also good to point out that potatoes contain a lot of calories. It's even two to three times higher than what you find in other vegetables. That said, it's in your best interest not to eat too many potatoes for dinner. Sugar, good for breakfast. If you really want to eat sweet things, I'll recommend you eat them for breakfast. Why? Because sugar calories are easier to burn by this time. Bad for dinner. Sugar can take a toll on your digestive system and even cause increased sleep disturbances. Moreover, excessive intake of sugar can lead to weight gain. So there you have it. Now it's all up to you to transform your eating habits.